Hello friends, came here to apologize to you today for me not having recorded a bike vlog this week. I was as sick as a dog this week. <laughs> for about 10 days I've been uh, feeling some uh, pain in the throat while swallowing and I didn't pay much attention to it. And over the last uh, four or five days, it got really nasty. Um, had uh, high fever during, you know, in the evenings. Uh, didn't sleep well at all. Back pain. Uh, you name it. It was really, it was really difficult. I'm getting better now. So I hope that next week I'll, um, I'll go back to doing the, the bike vlogs as usual. Um, but I didn't come here today just to apologize. I thought I could uh, do something different and uh, show you what my next uh, humble uh, cycling adventure is going to be. So, ho so I hope. And uh, I found a, a very interesting video in YouTube, which I'm going to share with you right now. And I'm also going to put the link, a direct link to the video in the description below. And uh, if you are the uh, content owners of this video and you're not happy with me sharing it this way, please just let me know and I'll remove this video straight away. So let's go ahead and uh, watch the video together. Shall we? So that's the uh, Devon Coast to Coast cycle route or national cycle route number 27 and it starts in a little town called uh, Ilfracombe, it's a coastal town north coast of Devil, Devon. Now you can see the nature around the route is pretty impressive. By the nature of the cycle lanes, you can see that uh, all of these uh, cycle lanes were built on disused railway tracks. So you can see on this bridge, the typical railway bridge and this tunnel as well. So um, I'm lo really looking forward to, to cycling that. It's probably gonna be very calm and peaceful with absolutely no traffic all around. Now uh, there are some portions of the route that you have to take the road and obviously a hundred miles is for most people especially like myself <laughs> not um, doable in just one day so we're gonna do it in two days and uh, we're still trying to figure out what we're gonna do in terms of accommodation in the middle of the route uh, if we can find easy lodging, bed and breakfast, or uh, uh, cheap hotels or something, we're probably going to stay there, but we're also considering camping. The route ends in the town of um, Plymouth, and uh, from there we're going to take, uh, we're probably going to stay overnight there, and then the next day we're going to take the train from Plymouth to Exeter and then change trains in Exeter and take another train to uh, a little town called uh, Barnstable and then uh, cycle again uh, back to Wilfrecombe. So really looking forward to that and um, I hope you stay tuned here for the uh, blog posts and videos that are going to be that I'm going to be producing out of this ride. Uh, thank you very much for following me so far and I hope you have a great week. Take care. <laughs>